In this video, I'm going to go over how to add and configure the recent products element to your page. So I'm going to hit this little plus here in the middle. I'm going to search for recent. Now that we're here, we can see the two products I have in my store. If I had a lot more, it would show only the recently added pro uh, products. Um, so for example, if I had 50 products in my store and I have this number set to 12 here, it'll show the 12 most recent products I added to my store. Uh, this is a great way to show new releases, uh, uh, new updates, uh, really great things like that. So we can change how many items appears in the gallery right here with this slider. We can go all the way up to 99 or all the way down to 4. Generally like to keep it around 12 to 20. In the columns here we can change how many columns appear. Uh, we generally keep it around 4 to 6 just because the image is big enough it catches their eye but not too big to where it takes up too much room on your site. But if you really want a dense grid with a lot of objects you can go all the way to 8 columns. And we have order by here, so we can order the recent items by their titles, by the date they were added, or just a random order in case you just wanted a random order for your new releases. Or you can go by the menu order, which is configured in your shop. And then lastly down here, the order method, we can go ascending or descending, A to Z or Z to A, however you prefer it to appear on your site. Once you're happy with your settings and you're happy with the way everything looks, you can go down and hit the supply button. You can hit update. Once it's finished updating, that change will go live to all the viewers of your website. If you have any questions about the recent products element or any other elements, feel free to get in contact. We'll be happy to help you out. Thank you.